This tutorial is designed to show you how to collect research papers electronically for the Composition Learning Outcome Assessment. So what we'll do first is we'll talk about creating an assignment so that you can collect those papers electronically, then downloading student submissions, and then emailing the student submissions to the appropriate place. So what you first want to do is log into Blackboard and go into the course that you're interested in collecting papers for. And once you're in that course, you want to go into the Assignments area by clicking on Assignments, and you want to create an assessment, and you want to go down to an assignment. This will allow us to collect the papers. Now, you'll want to create this paper assignment, and my understanding it's a research assignment, so research paper. Okay, type that in. And you probably want to put in the due date and a little bit of information about the paper itself. Um, you can browse your computer and attach files if you want. You want to put in a possible number of points, so I'm going to put in a hundred. And then this is where you'll put the availability. So you probably want to click display and tell and then put the actual due date in there. So if it's due, you know, October 16th, and then you'd want to put the time that it was due at. Okay, so maybe um, 5.30 p.m. Make sure that box is clicked though. After you do that, that's all you have to do. So you have to put in your title, put some instructions in. If you want to attach a document, you can. Number of points, click this box and put in the due date, and then hit submit. Now this is all ready to have papers um, submitted electronically by students. And what they'll do is they'll click on this link, research paper, and they'll browse and submit their paper. Okay. Now I'm going to load a couple papers in and show you how to download these. Students have, let's say students have submitted their papers and now what I want to do is whether I've had them hand them in a hard copy as well, um, I've also had them turn them in um, via this route on Blackboard, I now want to get these papers and, and um, email them to the appropriate place. So I'm going to now to retrieve these papers, I log into Blackboard and go into that same course but instead of going under assignments, I want to go down and click on the Grade Center. And this little double arrow is going over here. Now what you'll notice once we get in here is this research paper is listed as one of the items. And you'll notice two students have submitted this. And hopefully these will all be um, populated with an exclamation point. What I want to do is I want to drop down in this arrow here. And if you'll notice, if you scroll down, it'll say... Um, Assignment file download. That's what I want to click on. Now, here are the people that have, it says need grading. Those are the places where they've been submitted. So I want to click this little box here and hit submit. Now what this is doing is it's packaging all these into a, a file, that a folder that I can email. So I click download assignments now and I want to save this. And I want to make note of where my it saves it on my computer. Okay. Now, after I'm done with that, I want to go into GroupWise because now I'm going to email this to the appropriate place. Now, I know this was um, saved to my desktop, so I know where this, this folder has been saved. So now I've, I've created an email, and I'm going to email these to Su Susan Mowers. I'm going to label them EN097 papers. I'm going to click this little um, paper clip like I'm going to attach something. And if you'll notice on my desktop, um, what you'll see is the papers as a um, zip file right here. It says Gradebook W. Faber Training Course Research Paper. I'm going to double click on that and that will attach that to this email. And all I'm going to do is hit send. Okay. And that will send the, all my papers in that zip folder over to Susan Mowers and they, then um, they will do with those papers what they need. Okay. So We've created the assignment, we downloaded the student submissions, and we've emailed those submissions to the appropriate place. Thanks for watching this tutorial.